you guys didn't know I could sew. I'm not the greatest, but I can do it. Guess who taught me? Mrs. Angel Survival. So you probably wonder why in the world am I sewing on my nice CFP90 backpack? Why is there a big slit there? <laughs> well, the padding in this thing right here is it's just getting worn out. Here's what it looks like. The stuff is just I mean it's just it's it's making a mess. It just crumbles everywhere. It gets over everything. So I just cut a little slit here and I had some foam down in my basement and I cut it to shape and put it in. I'm getting this thing sewed for tomorrow because we are going to the Pine Forest. Yes, and we're going to try out the Light Fighter 110 and uh, we're going to be carrying the CFP 90 pack. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, before I go, I think after this, I'm going to put some T-Rex tape, and it should be good to go. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, comrades, we made it. So here I got some orange parachute cord and we're gonna hang out the backpack, the CFP-90. It's an older military backpack uh, used in the 90s and mid thousands. And uh, my brand, the one I have is not a specialty defense brand, but it is a FYI. I gotta hug this tree. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Never mind. I can't hug it. Basically, I just got a little slip knot there. I'm gonna draw the string through that. Or the parachute cord, I mean to say. I'm gonna hang it up high because my pack's a little heavy, so it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna come come down on me. We're just gonna make another slip knot. Okay, and that's it. Now on this one, I'm using my carabiner. There we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna get set up. Here's the brand I got. It's, I'm sorry, it's FCI. And out of the CFP 90s, they say this is not the one to get. <laughs> the specialty defense one is the one you want. And I guess the reason why is because this company here that was contracted by the military to make these was cutting corners. So they lost the contract. That's the history of it, or what I know. But it is a nice pack. It is very comfortable. Here I just have a butt pack on it. 
And uh, I had the patrol pack, but it's at home. Got all your molly loops and stuff there. I mean, I'll come in and do, I'll do a video on this sometime. But uh, yeah, gotta get camp set up. Ooh, the Light Fighter 1 tent. Along with the rain fly. And we're gonna have some, uh, well, I'll tell you guys here in a minute. What kind of military? Oh, this is um, a Thermarest military sleeping pad. And this is gonna be mine and Angel, Angel Survival, she's gonna get the, uh, what's that one, the big, the big one I have, the big military one, like the one from the 1960s on my last overnighter that we did. Oh, is that the one that could have Agent Orange on it? <laughs> no, I don't, well, I, I don't know. I never, you, you brought that to my attention. You didn't tell me about that one. You brought that to my attention. Oh yeah, I think about that stuff. So yeah, just open that up and it'll inflate itself and we'll just set it in the sleeping bag. My dad was at ground zero. I think about that stuff all the time. I know, I know. And that's good thinking because I never thought about that. Especially, you know, ever since I started getting military stuff, I'm always careful now what I get. <laughs> so you helped me out a lot. So guys, here we have the light wedge um, Mount Hardware tent that we used in my last overnighter. And originally it was just going to be me camping out. So I was just going to be camping out Light Fighter 1. But the missus overrid, overrid that, and of course she gets the okay and the yes every time. So okay. we're camping out in this t one tonight, and I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set up the light fighter one because I brought it with me, and uh, just because. An I must be a princess. Trusty old GI canteen, with some Taster's Choice, scrubber, spoon. And for part of our dinner tonight, Spam Turkey. Of course, some extra food dehydrated. And the big mumbo jumbo sleeping pad. And patrol sleeping sleep bag. Tunnel? Huh? Did this go in a tunnel? Yeah. It's a little hole that was big in there. The leaves were coming up. I guess once it, it kept coming around there and coming around there. So I took the stick and moved the leaves, and it's little holes there. And it digs out, it pulls out dirt. It's like a big process. Of the big bohemoth. Like digging a hole, it's like a yeah, isn't that neat? It's like pulling it out. Mm -hmm. Look at it. wow, look at it. he's pulling dirt out. He's working so hard. <laughs> you should have seen him earlier. He just kept buzzing around and he'd get up and he'd buzz around, kept looking, kept going back. Okay. He's not even afraid of us. That's what's scary. Because mm -mm. they're not aggressive, really. Only if you saw their down. Wow. I got six steaks or six <laughs> steaks. I got six sticks here. And uh, some eastern red cedar, and I'm not for sure what this one is, but uh, we're gonna make some tent stakes. That was pretty simple. I make them longer. That way, if I don't have anything to press down or hit them with, I can really, uh, I can really put some force into it and put them in the ground. There is, I can hold on to it. There is if I have it too short. You know, if I had like from here to here, or even from here to here, it's not really going to give me much room to dig it, to push it in the ground. So, the being longer, you really push it. That's the idea. So basically, now if you just now if you cut this off a uh, a branch, then you won't really you won't even have to do this. You know why? Is because you can cut it with your saw. And you can cut the branch off at an angle, and there you go, you're done. You got it. You got your point, so it'll go right in the ground. But this one here, I found laying down, and it seemed pretty tough. You want to try to get green wood. 
and uh, you don't, obviously rod wood is not going to work. But uh, it's basically making a point. Now this one here, I was able to cut off a tree, so I don't need to really do anything with that. It's already got a point. So, yep, we're going to use that for the Light Fighter 1 tent. So here's some of the end, end products of my tent stakes. All natural. <laughs> so, we're going to stake out the Light Fighter 1 before I start putting the poles in it. And I always go, uh, let's see if you can see that there. Yeah. I always go in at an angle. Like that. That way they don't pull out from me. such a nice looking tent so I had one of my viewers ask about the condensation on this tent well tonight we're, we're gonna find out there's no rain in the forecast but it's supposed to get down to 58 degrees tonight so it might be cold enough to uh, get some condensation built up but we're gonna find out and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be sleeping in it because me and the missus got this tent but uh, if it gets too cramped in the tent, I might come in this one and sleep tonight. Who knows? <laughs> Guys, do you know what kind of tree this is? I'm not totally sure what kind of tree it is, obviously, because I'm asking you, but there's sap right there. Well, I'm not for sure. I don't know what exactly that is. The only thing I've ever seen this stuff on is on um, cedar, pine, and spruce trees. I have no idea. It's got round leaves, but uh, if you guys do know, let me know in the comments below. Oh man. This is one to go for a hike, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to find BC-10 campsite. No luck. I'll tell you what, I'm tired. She's got more energy than I do. All right guys, we're gonna head back to campsite and uh, I'm gonna start cooking. You're gonna see me uh, cook this time. So yeah, turkey spam and uh, onions, bread, and turkey Vena sausage. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good stuff. Okay, see you guys in a bit. <sighs> I have a little fire kit that I've been working on. It's not perfect and it's not complete yet, but um, we're gonna start a fire with uh, um, some of the material that I have in here, and I'll show you that. So I get this duct tape off. Actually, not duct. This is duct tape, but it's T-Rex tape. And that's a good, uh, that's a good fire starter too. Whew, some tough stuff. So I have it in this can. It's not an Altoy can. It's just a little bit thicker. Aha. So in here I have a light my fire ferro rod or fire steel, some steel wool, lighter, and what we're going to start the fire with tonight is I've got some cotton balls with Vaseline on it, petroleum jelly. Then here, some storm proof matches, I got a little bit of everything in here and I got some rubber, Rubber is really good, and then also a future video. Future video that we're gonna do Fresno lens. 
This is going to be for uh, magnifying lens. It's a credit card size lens, and we're going to start a fire with this. Future video. A little bit of cotton ball and some lint from the dryer. Smeared around in some Vaseline. Art. We always save our dryer lint. I get it where it's got a. Uh... Yes, we do. We got Ziploc. We got Ziploc bags full of dryer lint. That stuff you don't even have to put in. Put Vaseline on it. Just it's very flammable. So I always kind of tear it up. Tear it up like that. Okay. Let's get this fire going. Whoop. Cheap bark. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, I won't get so excited. So then, you know how the you know the you know the drill, guys. Get your small tender on there. As you can see over here, we've already got firewood people left from before, so that made things really easy. So I didn't, I didn't get to use the Silky F-180 today. We got a bed of coals starting to form, and um, like I said, turkey spam with some onion. And over there we got some wheat bread. And we are going to use Cold steel pocket bushman. Are you gonna rinse it off first? Uh, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, there's nothing on it. I mean, I already. Okay, I gotta rinse it off real quick, guys. What's that saying you like to say? Huh? Happy. Oh, happy wife. Oh, the the toad there. He's don't want to get him. He's right there. Oh, don't go. In don't the, let him go in the fire. Go, don't go in the fire, little guy. You're so cute. Oh, it's so cute. You better right, not go to the fire. Here, go the other way. Oh, he won't go to the fire. I there, now he's on our sandwich stuff. Well, we got it covered. So the knife's clean. There we go. Sanitize. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I don't know if there's any juices in it. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Spam out. Oh yeah, look at that. Good stuff. Okay. Look at this. So just gonna cut a little piece off, shave a little bit, make them nice and flat and skinny. Just go straight down. Huh? Just go straight down with spam. There you oh. go. Well, I gotta do for the camera. I gotta make it look all neat. Okay, I'm sorry. There you go. And probably going to have a little bit of gnats in it. It's no problem. It's just part of being out in the outdoors. Okay. Now we need to chop her up good. Fit quite a bit in here, really. I love it when you cook for me. <laughs> Set this. That's going to be nice and warm. Get these coals brought around. This thing cooking really good. Already smells good. Oh, I know. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Stainless steel, it doesn't rust. Well, it's rust resistant. However, as I'm learning how to sharpen knives and stuff, stainless steel sucks sharp. It, it just does not sharpen well. It's hard. At least it's hard for me. <laughs> but on the Bushman, you just pull that back and bring it right in. It's a good pocket knife, like 20 some dollars on Amazon. You can't beat it. 
going to send uh, Angel Survival out in the middle of the night and see if she can see if there's any condensation in that. One of my viewers is asking about that, so. <laughs> Killy's going to send me out in the middle of the night because he's afraid of the dark. I am a little bit. <laughs> She'll protect me, though. All right, guys, I think we're, uh, I don't want to tip it, so. I got to get it. Not burning myself up. Those are going to be very hot. There you go. Oof. Try to give her as much, uh, I screwed up and I gave her onion. She never, she never warned me or anything. I'm in trouble, guys. So here's Angel Survival Sandwich. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry about the onion. I, I screwed up. No, you didn't. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to eat. We'll see you in a little bit. This is just going to be on camera this early in the morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, how'd you sleep? How'd you sleep the, over the night? Yeah. Well, she got she got the big, thick military mat from the '60s from Vietnam era. I had the little military thermorest sleeping pad, and uh, I slept pretty good. I was surprised. It was pretty comfortable. Well, we're gonna check out the Light Fighter 110. Uh, I know, I know, I didn't sleep in it, you know, to create moisture and stuff. But still, I mean, they can still get moisture in it. But there's gonna come this fall. We're gonna do an overnight in this tent, and we'll definitely really get some. See, there's gonna be condensation. But let's check it and let's find out. So the fly is pretty. Uh, Nothing on the fly. It's not even wet or nothing. In our tent, our uh, light, our uh, Mount Harder does really well. Condensation and everything is none. Which tent did we use uh, when we were up in the Smokies? Uh, Siri Designs tent. Because I remember my tent didn't have condensation on it, but that's good. No condensation in here. However, I didn't sleep in it, so I wasn't able to create like any moisture or anything. But there's no stains on the on the floor bed. Weird. That's good, but we will definitely be testing. Ah, sorry. We will definitely be testing it out this fall. Uh, we'll do a little one-man solo adventure with some other surplus gear too, as well. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just get a little getaway for the weekend, me and the missus, and uh, enjoyed bringing guys along. And hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you in the next video. God bless and take care. Poker toe. Have a good